In this second video on slopes, we have an object on a slope with its weight acting downwards, the reaction force, but also some tension on a bit of string. Now, before we start, we're going to resolve forces into components at right angles to the slope and also down the slope. So we'll do the weight first. This is a fairly routine calculation. So we have the angle 20 here is the same as that angle there, which is also 20. So adjacent, we'll have 10g cos 20. And the opposite will be 10g sine 20. So they're the two components of the weight. However, we must also resolve the tension as well. So we have the adjacent to the angle. So that will be 20 cos 10, and also the opposite angle, so that will be 20 sine 10. So there are the forces resolved on the diagram into components. Now, what we'll do first is find R. Now, there are actually three forces acting at right angles to the slope. The R, the 20 sine 10, and the 10G cos 20. So basically, R must plus 20 sine 10, these two forces here, must equal the 10G cos 20. So R must equal 10G cos 20 minus the 20 sine 10. So if we enter this into our calculator, we end up with R equal to 88.6 newtons to 3SF. So we found R. The second thing we could find is what the object does down the slope. Now first of all, let's just compare the two components along the slope. There's a 10g sine 20 and a 20 cos 10. Now, 10g sine 20, that equals approximately 33 newtons, 33.5 newtons actually, and 20 cos 10, that's approximately 19.7 newtons. So this force here is greater than that force there, so therefore the object must be trying to move down the slope. So to find the acceleration, we can use Newton's law. So resultant force must equal m times a. Now, the resultant force down the slope must be the 10g sine 20 minus the 20 cos 10. And that must equal the mass. Now, the weight was 10g, so the mass must equal 10, lots of a. So, therefore, a will equal 10g sine 20, take away 20 cos 10, all over the mass. Ready my calculator out. Work this out. We find that the final acceleration is 1.38 meters per second squared to 3 S F. So again, with multiple forces acting, the trick is to resolve all the forces into components. Then to find R, consider the vertical components, and to find A, consider the horizontal components. But bear in mind that we have to consider the direction of motion, which in this case was down the slope. 